Hi, my name is Sujin Shrestha. I'm a service engineer from SMA Australia. Today I'm going to show you how to install SMA's battery inverter, the Sunny Boy Storage, designed for adding high voltage batteries to new and existing systems. The Sunny Boy Storage is a single phase AC coupled battery inverter for parallel grid operation. The installation process is very easy and can be performed by one person. So let's start with what's included in the scope of delivery. First of all, we have the Quick Installation Guide, which makes it easy for you to get notice on the back of the Quick Installation Guide. All information you need for connecting to both the inverter and later Sunny Portal. Notice also the free space to record installer and user password, which can be set during the commissioning step. There's a bag of parts which will be used to complete the installation including battery terminal connectors, the AC terminal connector, the battery communications or CAN bus interface connector, and also the components to use the optional PE connection if required in your electrical jurisdiction. Here's the lower cover of the inverter. Cable for AC, CAN bus interface, and speed wire connection to a router or the energy meter will be a feed through these openings. Finally, we have the inverter. Looking at the bottom of the inverter, we can see the connection area for the battery cables, the web connect port for the systems without Sunny Home Manager. The speed wire connection from energy meter should be directly connected here. The battery management system cable interface, the AC connection socket, and the optional PE connection. That's everything in the scope of delivery. Now let's see how easy it is to mount the inverter to the wall. The inverter can be mounted to the wall using only two screws placed 240 millimeters apart. To mount the inverter, I recommend holding it a bit of an angle and looking from the side. This makes it easy to mount the inverter on the screws. Strip the AC cable so that it can be correctly inserted into the AC connector. I prepared one earlier. Place the swivel nut and the sleeve onto the cable and insert the cable through the opening. Connect the AC cable to AC plug. You can use a 2.5 mm flathead screwdriver to relieve the tension on the connector to ensure the reliable ohmic connection. Now you can connect the AC plug to inverter. Make sure you hear an audible click when connecting to ensure it's properly installed. Check the polarity of the battery cables and connect the correct DC connector to each. Connection between the inverter and the battery takes place via the battery communication cable over CAN bus. You will need one battery communication cable for the communication between the inverter and the battery. Unless provided as part of the battery, SMA recommends to use a cable such as a CAT5E or similar. Note that the cable is not provided in the scope of the delivery. Place the swivel nut to the cable and insert the cable to the opening. Connect the cable to battery plug according to the quick installation manual and battery manufacturer's instruction. Combine the shielding together with PE connection and insert them to the GND terminal. Insert the battery communication plug into the socket until it clicks in. Make sure the terminal to release the conductor is facing towards the mounting surface. For the network connection, Put the cable through the swivel nut and through the opening. Insert the cable into the web connect port until the connector engages. For the systems not using a Sunny Home Manager, SMA recommends connecting the communication cable from the SMA energy meter directly to the inverter. Connection to the internet and SMA's online monitoring platforms can be achieved by using built-in Wi-Fi functionality of the inverter. For systems using the Sunny Home Manager, the SMA energy meter will need to be directly wired to the local area network. 
We can now complete the installation by installing the inverter's lower cover. Insert the lower cover at a slight angle. To make the installation easier, I recommend you tighten the screw in the center first, then on the right and on the left. Once installed, we can tighten the swivel nuts for both the AC and communication cables. That's it. The physical installation of Sunny Boy's storage is now complete. The inverter needs to be commissioned via the web user interface and registered to Sunny Portal. You can view a video showing how to commission your Sunny Boy inverter with built-in Wi-Fi by clicking the link in the description below. I hope this video has been helpful in giving you instructions on how to install the Sunny Boy storage. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tech tip videos. I am Sujin Shrestha from SMA Australia, and thank you for watching.